What's up? This is Sergio with the Gospel Truth. Wanted to title this devotional in Christ. We're blessed. I'm reading from Ephesians 1.3. It says, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. But uh, I wanted to talk about what the spiritual blessings that we have in Christ. It says, um, it says, um, We have been chosen in Christ, in Christ uh, Ephesians 1 4. It says, Ephesians 1 4, even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. So, what does that mean? It means that before God made the world, that um, he chose us to be in Christ, holy and blameless. Before sin entered the world, before the world was even created he chose us he chose us um to be holy in his sight through his son so that's that's a privilege that's that's something you couldn't we can't even fathom why god would choose us when we know how how we are sometimes we're not our, we're not at our best so that's a privilege that's a blessing that god has chosen has chosen us in christ before the foundation of the world so in other words in christ we have been chosen so what's the second blessing? The second blessing says that we have been adopted. It says, uh, Ephesians 1, 5. Uh, God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. That means in Christ, we... Uh, we are now God's children and we have been adopted into the family of God through Christ and we now are, uh, are in the kingdom of God and God we, we no longer see God like from afar or from a distance but we see God as our Abba Father we, we, we now have a relationship with him and his and, 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 and his pleasure is to bless us through Christ and to supply all our needs and to give us what we need and uh, that's the second blessing we have been adopted in Christ. And that's a second spiritual blessing. Well, what's the third blessing? And the third blessing, blessing is uh, verse 6. So we praise God for the glorious grace he has poured out onto us who belong to his dear son. Verse, uh, verse 6. We have been accepted in the beloved. In Christ we have been accepted. In Christ we're no longer... Uh, we're no longer seen as sinful. We're no longer seen as uh, second rate. We're no longer seen as as uh, God saw Adam after the fall. But in Christ, we have been, uh, we are accepted at all times and righteous and holy before God. Not because anything we we can or will do, but because of what Christ has done for us on the cross. So we have been accepted in the beloved. And that's that's the third blessing. What's the fourth blessing? The fourth blessing is we have been forgiven. Let me read Ephesians 1 7. He is so rich in kindness and great He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and forgave our sins. So in Christ we have been forgiven, not just for our sins from the past but our sins for today and our sins for tomorrow in Christ we have been eternally redeemed from the curse of the law from trying to be right through our own uh, self-effort we have been forgiven for anything we have been forgiven for everything we stand now eternally before God because of Christ with no condemnation no sin but eternally forgiven because of what Christ has done for us and that's the second blessing I mean that's the fourth blessing the fifth blessing it says uh, we now know the mystery the mystery of, of uh, let me read that he has shown uh, Ephesians 1 8 he has shown uh, no Ephesians 1 9 God has now revealed to us his mysterious plan regarding Christ a plan to fulfill his own good pleasure and what, what we when you talk to people in the world they don't they don't really know why why they're here they're, they're lost they, they don't they don't understand what is um, what is really going on everybody has their own philosophy if you don't know Christ you have a philosophy of the world um, you, you're blinded you have a spiritual veil but in Christ 
since we know Christ and we have the Spirit of God within us, we know why why uh, why we're here. We know we know the past and we know the future. We know what Christ has done for us and what what He's going to do when He's coming back and He's going to redeem the whole world to Himself. And it's not just history is not. In other words, history is just not making its own self. History was was already planned by God and God already made history here. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He's already planned from Genesis to Revelation, and we know that mystery. We know, that's the mystery that has been revealed to us through Christ, and we have that. We have we know the mystery of uh, why God sent Jesus to the world. We have that, as opposed to the world that doesn't have that, and they they think oh we're just here and you live and you die and you make your own uh, your own. Uh, you know you make your own empire and it's whatever you do and it's all about you but as believers we know that it's not all about us it's all about Jesus and we know where the world's going to we know the end before it's already happened we know what's gonna happen in Revelation we know Christ is gonna come back and we're gonna be uh, with him for all eternity so we have that mystery we know that mystery in God that's the fifth blessing what's the sixth blessing in Christ, we have an eternal inheritance. Ephesians. Uh, uh, in Christ, we have an eternal inheritance. Well, that's the fifth blessing. In Christ, we have an eternal inheritance. And what does that internal inheritance is mean in Christ? We have an internal inheritance. That means we have, um, we are going to be eternally with Christ when we, uh, when God comes. Right now, we're eternally intertwined with Christ. We're seated with Christ in heavenly places, and when Christ comes back, we will be eternally with Him forever, to never be separated, to see Him face to face, to talk to Him, to be with Him, to know Him as. Just like in the garden, we'll, we'll be with Christ eternally. So we have an eternal inheritance. We're not just uh, limboing in uh, outer space. We're not just here. We have an eternal inher inheritance with Christ. We're sealed, and uh, we're sealed with the Holy Spirit. And what's the seventh blessing? We're, the seventh bless blessing is that we're sealed with the Holy Spirit. So, uh, Ephesians uh, 13. Mm -hmm. Thirteen, And now you Gentiles have also heard the truth, the good news that God saves you. And when you believed in Christ, he has identified you as his own by giving you the Holy Spirit, which he promised long ago. That means in Christ, we have been um, sealed, sealed with his blood, sealed with the Holy Spirit. We... Uh, God calls us his own and, and how we know that God calls us his own is that we have the Holy Spirit and we have the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We can speak in tongues, we can pray, we can uh we can uh make devotionals like this, we can spend time with God and feel God's presence when we when we come together in the church, when we come together as believers like we're doing now, we can we can feel God's Holy Spirit moving through us and He's speaking through us and letting us know He's with us and since we have that Holy Spirit flowing through us, we, we, we know that we are Christ. We are God's because the world can't have that Holy Spirit because the world doesn't know Christ. So they can't have a spirit and they have the spirit of the Antichrist supposed to we have the spirit of Christ. We have his spirit living inside of us. So that's that's the uh, seventh blessing. That's a blessing that the world can never know. The world will never have that blessing. So, uh, so in other words, we're blessed in Christ. We're uh, not like the world, the world that's lost, the world that w that is without hope. We have the hope of glory. We have Jesus Christ. So those are all the blessings and uh, that speaks about in Ephesians one three. Just wanted to go over those with you and let you know what they were, but. Uh, in other words, at the cross, the divine exchange took place. Jesus was punished and cursed so that we could be blessed. So, hope y'all like that devotional. Hope to make some more in Christ Jesus. But uh, we're blessed in Christ with all spiritual blessings. And all those spiritual blessings are 
In Christ, we have been chosen. In Christ, we have been adopted. In Christ, we have been accepted. And the beloved, we have been accepted with God and God. And we are forgiven. We know the mystery of why Jesus came. And we have an eternal inheritance. We're going with Jesus and we're seated with Christ right now in heavenly places. And number seven, we have been sealed with the Holy Spirit. Something the world will never know. And something the world will never have. But we have it because we're in Christ Jesus. But uh, let me read that again. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing and heavenly places in Christ. Ephesians 1.3 In other words, at the cross, the divine exchange took place. Jesus was punished and cursed so that we can be blessed. Amen. Amen.